Hi everyone, Ashley here. Thanks for joining me for another video. Um, I am doing things a little bit backwards. Um, the other day I made a Christmas card and today I am making a Thanksgiving card. But this is a really simple, easy Thanksgiving card and um, let's get to it. So I have a standard A2 size card which is five and a half by eight and a half. I have a piece of orange card stock which is five and a quarter by four inches. I have a piece of craft card stock which is five inches by three and a three quarter inches. I have um, a piece of cream card stock which is five and a quarter by four inches. Another piece of orange card stock which is two and a quarter by two and a quarter. Another piece of craft card stock, which is two and one eighth inch by two and one eighth inch. And a cream, which is two by two. And all of these measurements will be posted on my blog. So I'm going to start off with the brown and go ahead and score that in half, which is four and a quarter. Let's get that out of the way. Okay, grab my boom holder. Okay, so I've got that. Then what I'm going to do, um, like I said, this is a super, super easy card. I am just going to take my craft card stock and run it through my cuddle bug real quick using the polka dots embossing folder. Okay, so this is what you end up with. Um, I have done this card previously and I will show you that one as well. Um, I use different colors and I use the swirl background. But this is what I had today so I thought I would do it like this. So to kind of help show that there are dots here, I'm just going to use a sponge and some Espresso Ranger ink. And I'm just going to lightly go over the top. That will help bring out those dots. Not too, too heavy, just really light on the top. Okay, and also to help tone down this ridiculously bright orange, I'm going to sponge the edges as well. Okay, so that's done. Now what I want to do is to figure out if that looks good, and it does. So I'm just going to set that aside for now. Now, using my little cream piece of paper, okay, I just grabbed my stamp on a jig, and I'm going to push that off to the side. And what I'm using, um my need some stamps from Big Lots and I am not sure of the brand or anything like that but they were wooden stamps and I have unmounted them here and I'm going to be using this cute little set of pumpkins and the Give Thanks. So what I'm going to do is just put the little pumpkins on my block and I'm going to be coloring them in with um, Sharpie markers and to keep that from ble bleeding I have found just the cheap, dye-based, craft smart, acid-free ink works great. So I'm going to use black, and I'm just going to stamp this. It doesn't stamp very well on the, um, the stamp on the jig, but good enough that you can get an image. And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the back of my cardstock to keep it from moving around on me. And I'll take my little template here, get it exactly where I want it, and then I'm going to... Perfect. I'm 
Okay. Peel that up. I'm just going to move that all to the side. And I'm going to go ahead now and stamp the inside. And I'm not really sure, but I'm getting black ink all over everything. I'll clean that in a second. So I need my little give thanks. And I need my stamp on the jig again. And I'm just going to stamp that. It doesn't work. The ink will not work very well, but it works good enough to see where I'm placing it. Okay, place that right there. And I'm just going to stamp this. Perfect. A little bit dark. I put a little too much pressure, but it's okay. Okay, so I'll clean those up and put those away in a little bit. Okay, so what I'm going to start with is I'm going to start with these right here. Now, I am looking into buying Copic markers, but as of right now, I'm going to use some Sharpies. And I have three different greens. I have a dark green, lime green, and kind of a foresty green. And then I have three oranges. I have a peachy, a yellowy orange, and then a nice dark orange. So what I'm going to start with is the yellowy color. And just careful to stay inside the line, but other than that, I'm not worried about anything on the inside right now. Okay, like that, just a quick base. Then I'm going to go in with pink, peachy pink orange, and I'm just going to lightly go over the lines. And this is going to be shading. Okay, then I'm going to go in with my darkest color. And I'm just going to add a few highlights to the lines. Just a few, you don't want many, you just kind of want to add some highlights to them. Okay, and then I'm going to go over the entire thing again with the yellowy orange that I had in the beginning. That's just going to help blend everything out. Okay, and everyone's going to be a little bit different, as you'll see on um, the first card that I made. It actually didn't turn out quite like that. It turned out um, darker, but each one will be different. So I'm just going to add a little bit of this dark forest green to the little um, stems there. And then I'm going to go to the other side with my um, lighter green and just kind of add in a little bit extra color. Okay, and that is how I get the same look of a Copic with um, Sharpies. So now I'm just going to color this the exact same way I did that one, and then we will put this card together. Okay, so that one is now colored in. And now I'm just going to put this together. So I'm just going to go ahead and layer this onto my pieces of cardstock here. Okay, just like that. And then I'm just going to put the front of the card together. 
Okay, then I'm going to open it up and attach my gift banks on the inside. Okay, so that's the inside panel. And then I am just going to add some dimensionals on the back of this. And whatever you have, I just have the dimensional tape. So I'm going to add three pieces. Put that right there. Okay, and then to finish it off, I am going to use some of the raindrop pearl halves in copper. Okay, and that finishes up the card. You will also probably notice I added a little bow to my ribbon. So this is the card I just made, and then about, probably about two weeks ago, I made this version first. Um, the differences are the color, of course, um, but tonight I didn't have this green that I wanted to use. And I used the swirls instead of the dots. The inside is the exact same, and instead of the raindrop pearl halves, I used copper breads. And it's also a grosgrain ribbon, and this is a satin ribbon. So that's the two differences, and you can tell the difference in the pumpkins as well. These are lighter. While these are darker. Um, but I, I like the way this turned out. I think it's cute. So there's the card. I hope you enjoyed, and I will have another video up soon. And I'll catch y'all later. Happy crafting. Bye. <laughs> Sonoki, yariki,